In this video, we are going to go through a CFA level one style question on applying the price to earnings ratio to stock valuation. This ratio, or to be more precise, the justified forward price to earnings ratio may easily be derived from the basic Gordon constant growth model without having to learn any additional formulas. And that's good news. One less thing to commit to memory. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question that I want you to have a go at. A company which has just paid a dividend of 1.80 euros per share on earnings of 3 euro per share plans to retain 45% of its earnings in the future starting next year. If shareholders expect a return of 9% per annum, and dividends are projected to grow at 5%, the company's justified forward price to earnings ratio is closest to 12.8, 11.25 or 13.75. Okay, as I told you in the introduction, I want to solve this problem by simply relying on the basic Gordon constant growth model formula, something which you should be familiar with by now. So let's write it down. The value of a stock today at time zero, which we would traditionally note as V0, which I am now substituting for P0, that's the price of a stock, equals the dividend expected next period, D1 divided by R minus. G, where R is the rate of return required by investors and G is the constant rate of dividend growth. Now, where many people make a mistake is in misinterpreting the justified forward price to earnings ratio. It is not. Let me stress, not the relationship between the price today, i.e. P0, and the most recent earnings, so E zero. In this exam, you will be asked about the justified forward price to earnings ratio. And this implies the relationship between P zero and E one. That is next year's forecast earnings. Okay, so how do we proceed? Well, over here, we simply divide both sides of the equation by E1. And we end up with P0 divided by E1 equals D1 divided by E1 over R minus G. And what we've got on the left hand side here is naturally the justified forward price to earnings ratio. And on the right, we've got an expression for the dividend payout ratio. At least as projected for future periods and not to be confused with the historic or current ratio. So we've got to ignore how much dividend was paid last year, or for that matter, what last year's earnings were. What we should focus solely on is the fact that the company plans to retain 45% of its earnings in the future starting next year. And that implies that it will pay 1 minus 45% or 55% out as a dividend. So we end up with 0 0.55 over a required rate of return equal to 9% minus a growth rate of 5%. Let's quickly do this on the calculator. 0 0.55 divided by open bracket 0 0.09 minus 0 0.05 close bracket equals 13.75, which if we check against the possible answers to this question corresponds with solution C. And that is our justified forward PE ratio.